Mm -hmm. You're profiling somebody today who you got to sit down with yeah, who is sat really down tearing with it up. Kim Petras, uh, she was in town on Monday for her concert. She's been doing a world tour. She's from Germany originally, yeah. and I've been spending the last about 10 years in Los Angeles. And she dropped a new uh, album called Clarity. So good. And she just wants to be a pop artist is what it's about. So mm -hmm. we talked about the album and kind of what was going on in her life when she wrote this album. Because it's a bit of a breakup album, but kind of with a twist. Okay. I went through a breakup uh, on tour, uh, which was like the biggest tour I'd ever been on, playing the biggest venues, and then at the same time I was just sad coming off of stage and like sad in my hotel room. And I started writing down all of these songs and all of these lyrics of clarity. And uh, it kind of, thank God, transformed from a really emo breakup record into something that's really uplifting, um, even though it has its sad moments, but every song is like, Look at me now, like I'm better, I'm, you know, smarter, all, all of those things. So I feel like I found like an uplifting angle to a breakup. And then comes like the, the, the club phase yeah. as well. So it has all those things. Great sound. Yeah, she's had over 250 million streams worldwide. And just a true pop artist uh, track was called If I, if I Don't Want It at all it was uh, the track that she put out two years ago which was a uh, very huge and hard to break of course as well it, you know she was also the youngest person to get uh reassignment gender reassignment surgery yeah. so she was just 16 years old and that made a lot of headlines back in germany of course and then worldwide mm -hmm. and she said listen i'm just an artist now yeah and we talked about that and, and just representing as well uh in the conversation you know, it's always tough with labels and stuff like that because you want to raise awareness about being transgender and you, you want the visibility to go up and I, I want people to, you know, be educated about it and to be kind of a force to be like, yep, that exists and it's okay and it's not something crazy. But at the same time, you don't want it to overshadow everything that you do and you don't want it to be the only thing that people say about you. It's just like your identity because that anybody would hate that. So. It's, it's a balancing thing with that, but I'm just happy that people know me more for my music than for like my gender identity. Using her success and her platform for both, yeah. And, and she does it so well and, and such a sweetheart, you know. Again, we chatted on Monday for, she was about 25 minutes and we just hung out and kind of co had conversations about the tour and, and just going across the country. Now she's finishing up that tour and is like, I cannot wait for Christmas mm -hmm. and just to relax with my friends. And then new music coming out for her in the new year as well. But uh, Clarity's latest project you can check out and it's Kim Petras. So uh, you can maybe play that on your solo speaker. Blast it. Because we all love sweet sounds yeah. too over the holidays, right? As you rest and fuel up and replenish. Thanks, mm -hmm. Dee. Right now, we're throwing things upstairs to Melanie Ng in the newsroom.